Hello and welcome back to Carb Random Quest. Now we're going to have a bit of a laugh this time. We have some severe money at the moment. I am looking at in a beautiful wallet, wherever it is. There, we have 63 million after the launch of this, which was yeah, fairly expensive. And we're going to send up our first gigantic space station. As you can see, we have the the space dock here. Um, and we're going to send this up for building some proper space uh, some spaceships up in orbit. So, without further ado, let's get on with it. And there goes the almighty fun. So, without further ado, I've said that twice now. Let's go for it. Boosters are a lot more powerful than I expected. I did not expect that to throw me so high. However, that's not too bad. Well, that worked. Just that little burn to... Just trying to slow it down, and now well, I was hoping to reveal this in daylight, but here it is. We're just going to separate it for the moment. Now this little wheel here is part of the DSEV or DESV mod. I'm not quite sure which. After a quick pause, it is the DSEV mod. Uh, double check that again. It's glorious being dyslexic and trying to remember acronyms like that. Yeah, it is part of the same thing as Wild Blue Tools. Um as the, the Pathfinder, the Buffalo, all of that jazz. And there we go, we're docked. Beautiful. Utopia Planitia for any Star Trek geek out there. Now we do have this lovely little section here. So we, what we want to do is compress the parts. And there we go. It is all built together. And now it is time. Start the centrifuge. So what I'm not doing is I'm not touching any of the converters at the moment. There's a very good reason for this. Well, first off is little Yebediah here has got over three years worth of supplies without any of the converters running. But the main reason is because of 
power. Now, as you'll notice, there are no solar panels, aside from these ones on the outside rockets here. Okay, so now the next job. Okay, in that little split second there, we have jumped forward about seven hours in time, eight hours, nine hours, I don't know. I was recording around about five o'clock and it's now one o'clock in the morning. We had a problem with the space dock. Uh, I couldn't get this little extra planetary launch pads um, GUI open for uh, for actually building things for some weird reason, it was not in there. So after much faffing about with mods, I believe it's sorted. And now comes the yield problem with this. I believe that these OMS um, pods are actually liquid fuel run as opposed to monopropellant run. So I have created a tug that cannot tug anything, which is great. So that's the second problem. Uh, it was completely my fault. The other one was something to do with the way when the mods were installed, but it's all fixed. Here's the next problem. This little section here. Now I was going to recycle it, but I didn't realise at the time that this particular dock doesn't have a recycler on it. The way that some of the ones, the ship with angels mods, do. So I can't recycle this one just yet. And it also doesn't have any Werner engines on it to give it the ability to actually manoeuvre correctly has no RCS essentially. So that is also a problem. So just while I'm trying to return some of these booster fragments back to the ground, um, I'll put a link in the description for the DSEV mod um, that has this centrifuge in it. I, the engines in it are some of my favourite in the game. Um, in general, it's just anything built by Angel is fantastic. Um, I use almost all of his mods. Uh, the airships one is well worth a look. It's a good laugh even if you're not building the airships. Okay, we've got solar rigs. Not an easy thing to say. Solar rig. There's my little short stubby SSTO. I've not actually properly tested this, but we'll see how it works this time. Just getting a little bit of the, the last sort of power out of these engines. And there we go, shutting them down. These have toggled onto their rocket mode. What we are going to do is do a good old fashioned mech jib dock. may seem weird but I'm also going to do this upside down because it gives slightly better access or a lot better access to the cargo bay also because I'm transferring across two engineers So here we're just dropping in our last little section. Um, we're putting in a solar adapter. Now, I've deliberately put the solar panels at a bit of a strange angle and it's a force of habit when making things like this. I just put them at a strange angle. It just makes sense in my head. However, I think they actually interfered with the spinning of the centrifuge. So when I put the second ones up, I hadn't noticed this. I didn't expand them. I didn't look at them all until it was all assembled um, but what I've done is I've sent up a bit more afterwards and changed the angle on them so in total I put up four different solar rigs 
I only filmed the one because it was the exact same launch and docking procedure. Um, but I've sent up four different solar rigs and the outside two actually had uh, nuclear generators on them. But as per usual, I'm overthinking things. And I made a, a slight mistake and forgot radiators on one of them. But uh, these things happen. So here I'm just trying to balance this space plane. This is the first time that I ever put it up after building it. I built it months ago and didn't test it. Um, so this is the first time it's actually been returned. And the advantage with having so much extra fuel is that you can move fuel about and get it to balance really well. So this is my first landing. Strangely enough, I didn't film it, but my second landing went hysterically wrong. And although everybody survived, there wasn't... Well, I actually managed to recover everything. But it was not in the one piece, and I had to recover it from the, the main screen. Um, it spun over and broke apart and re-entry. But yeah, here, so this is my uh, big space station. So I shall see you next time with more spending of the money.